Next is Work Together 14-2. We're going to take a look at journalizing some entries and posting. To start with, it says journalize a transaction for Olson Company in question assets that were completed during November and December of the current year. Use page 15 of the general journal and 24 of the cash receipts journal. So we're going to go through and we will record those transactions. And you can see that they cover um, two months period of time. And we're going to do the <clears throat> transactions that deal with writing off accounts. And then they decide to pay it and reopen. Okay, to start with, our first one, November 4th, wrote off Mellon Co Corporation's past due account as uncollectible. $494.00 and it is memorandum 145. Since we are writing off that account, we are going to use our general journal. The date, November 15th. Okay, so if we're gonna write off an accounts receivable, remember accounts receivable has a normal debit balance, so to write them off, we are going to write off Mellon Corporation and accounts receivable, we have to credit them to write it off. And the amount that we are going to write off goes into our allowance for uncollectible accounts. Because remember, our allowance for uncollectible accounts is an estimate of how much we are not going to receive from our customers. So when we actually know how much is not received from our customers, we have to cancel out that amount in our guesstimated account, which is allowance for uncollectible accounts. So hopefully, that, hopefully that's a little bit clearer. Okay, so our first account that's going to be affected is our allowance for uncollectible accounts. Remember, allowance for uncollectible accounts is for the estimated amount that we are not going to collect. Now it's reality. We know in this transaction that we are not going to collect $494. Allowance for uncollectible accounts, since it's a contra, <clears throat> excuse me, a contra, accounts receivable, it has a normal credit balance. If we're going to take the amount out of that account, we have to debit it. So we're reducing the allowance for uncollectible accounts. We're also going to be reducing the amount that we are going to receive from Mellon Corporation and our total accounts receivable. So we're going to use accounts receivable, Mellon Corporation. It has a normal debit balance. Since we are writing them off, we will be crediting it for $494, and the source document is M45. Our second transaction, the 15th, we're going to write off Hone Corp Corporation or companies past due accounts from uncollectible. Okay, so now we have another business that is not going to pay us, or we figure the bill has been passed 90 days, and chances are we're not going to receive it. Okay, the date is the 15th. Again, we have to reduce our allowance for uncollectible accounts because now we know that our estimate is reality. And so we will debit allowance for uncollectible accounts to reduce that account by this amount. We're also going to do our accounts receivable, Horn Company. And again, we are not going to receive payments. So we are writing them off. We're canceling out their account. So accounts receivable to cancel out their account, we have to credit it. And it is memorandum 147. Now we're going to jump into December 8th, receive cash in full payment of Mellon Corporation's account previously written off as uncollectible. And you can see it's for the $494 that we wrote off a month ago. The... Memorandum 158 will explain this account, which is, first of all, we have to reopen this account. So this will be for reopen, whoops. So that amount, that account there, or the memorandum there, will be for the part that we're going to reopen. And this part here is for cash receipt. Okay, that is why we have two source documents. 
So remember, when we receive cash for an account that has been closed, we have two transactions we have to do. First, we have to reopen the account, and then we have to record the cash received. So to reopen our account, we have to go to our general journal and basically do the opposite of the closing. So we have December 8th. We're going to put the $494 back into accounts receivable and to Mellon Corporation. So to put it in there to increase those accounts, we have to debit it. And then we are going to credit allowance for uncollectible accounts. We have to put the amount back in there again. And our memorandum is the first one, 158. The second part of it deals with this part, receive cash in full payment. Okay, so we're going to go down to our cash receipts journal, write the date. We received it from Mellon Corporation. It is an accounts receivable, so we're going to credit it for 494 debit cash for the same amount, and our source document is receipt 341. So again, when they pay on a written off account, you have to first reopen the account and then receive the payment. All right, the next one is Rodoff Fisher Industries past due account as uncollectible. So again, that we found out another business that we figure is uncollectible. So again, we're going to use our general journal. The date is the 14th. We have to take out the amount out of our allowance for uncollectible account because that is an account that is an estimate of how much. Now we know that we're not going to collect $1,360. Then we are going to reduce accounts receivable, Fisher Industries, by the same amount to write off their account. And we are going to use source document M161. The last one again is receive cash in full payment of Hone's account previously written off. And again, we have two source documents. This one is to reopen. And this is cash receipt. Okay, so our first, our first uh, transaction, remember there's two. We have to reopen the account. It's the 16th. Accounts receivable, Horn Corporation. We're going to put that amount back into their account, so we will debit them since they are going to accounts receivable. We have to put the money back into allowance for uncollectible accounts, so the normal balance there is credit, so we will credit that. And our source document is M169. Then we're going to receive, record the cash received. The date is the 16th. Account title, our document number. We are crediting Horn Company. So it goes into our accounts receivable credit and our cash debit. And so that takes care of the five transactions in the first part of Work Together 14.2. So it should look like this in your general journal, that in your cash receipts. Okay, next we're going to go on to the posting. Okay, so if we're going to go through the posting, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you go through and you are going to post everything in your general journal and your cash receipts journal. So you'll want to pause this video, go through and post it, and then I'm going to have you restart the video and I will show you what your posting should look like. So pause now. So your posting should look like this. When you take a look at your general journal, make sure that you have all of these filled in. Remember when you post from this line here, you have to post to your accounts receivable and you also have to post to the business that's associated with it. Okay, double check that. Okay, next. 
Oops, let me get back here. Your cash receipts journal. Remember, you should have, oops, sorry about that. Let me get to your cash receipts journal. You should have your post reference filled in. Then you have Fisher Industries should look like this because remember we wrote them off. They have a zero. Horn Company looks like this. Melon. Accounts receivable. And your allowance for uncollectible account.